In this full tutorial, I will show you how to recover your hackered Facebook account without having access to your recovery email or recovery phone number. Before we jump into the video, I will show you a quick summary what we are going to do in this video. To recover your account, either you can use your Facebook application, then it will show all password resetting method. If you can't reset it, you can recover your account like this, as well as instead of Facebook application, there are multiple ways to recover your account. Here I will quickly show you how to recover it just using your default web browser. After opening, you can enter your full Facebook name. After that, it will show you all accounts which have the same name. Then you can select your account. Then you can tap the recover button. After that, they will allow you to add new email address. After verifying, they will allow you to log back into your account or recover your account easily. By the way, if you want to find out more recovery method, you can find alternative video links in the description. And also, if you got an error while recovering your account, all error fixing video links in the description. And also, I invite you to watch the full tutorial before you start. Then you can get the whole idea. After that, you can easily recover your account. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. There are multiple ways to recover your account. First, you can use any meta application or you can use your default web browser. Instead of that, you can use this lighter version of Facebook. When someone hack your Facebook account, immediately he will change your all login details including your recovery phone number as well as recovery email address. So you have to recover it without having any of your recovery method. So let's jump into our first method. If the first method didn't work for you, you can try out the browser method. So open Facebook application like this. After opening, you will get this kind of login interface. Here, you don't need to enter any of your login data. Instead of that, just tap forgotten password button. Now, they ask you to search by your account using mobile number. If you didn't add any mobile number, you can just try out to search just using your email address. Here, if you want, you can just identify your account. Just enter in your full Facebook name like this. If there is no any other method, just try to identify your account using your full Facebook name. Then it will show a full list of accounts which have the same name. Most probably you can find your name and your account within this list. Then you can select that account. But unfortunately, in this case, I couldn't find my account within this list. So I have to use my email address or phone number. So enter your previous email address that you used to log into your Facebook account. After that, I will enter my Gmail ID like this. Then just tap the continue button. After that, Google will identify the exact account which is belongs to me. Here, they ask you to use your Google account. If you want to recover your Google account too, you can find that video on my channel. But here I explain the worst case scenario. So I will tap try another way option. Then you will get this password reset window. Here it will show all possible password resetting method. If you can access at least any of these password resetting method like get code via email or get code via phone number or SMS or you can get a code via notification. So if you can get a code, you can use that one time code, then you can verify yourself. After that, they will allow you to reset your password and recover your account. But unfortunately, if any of these password resetting method is not accessible, hacker has already changed it. Or if you don't recognize that one, you have to have tap that no longer have access to this option. Just tap that option, then you will get this recover window. This is your account. To go forward, just tap the recover button. Then it will show some recovery option. Now they ask me to get a code to my previous email address. That option is not available for me. So I need more option. So just tap the more option. Then Facebook will suggest more option. In my case, I will have only one option other than this previous email option. In your case, you might have more than that, like enter previous password or Submit your ID copy. From this list, you have to select the easiest one. So I have only one option. I will select the easiest one. 
then they ask you to add a new email address here you have to enter your new email address which is not connected to any other meta account like this enter new email address then this will be your new primary email address all other email address and phone numbers will be removed from your account after entering your email address just tap the continue button now they ask you to check your email just wait a few seconds until they send a verification code to your email address as well as you will receive this kind of email from facebook you can see this is the email that you receive from facebook you have to copy this code and you can paste it here so if you didn't get any notification you can go to your gmail application like this just open it after opening you can see there is a new email from facebook just select that one then you will get this kind of code all you have to do is just copy this code or remember this code and enter it there like this i will copy this code to the clipboard after that i will go back to my facebook application like this now i will paste this code take a long press then tap the paste button after pasting tap the continue then this will be your new login or primary email address don't use your older email address now they ask you to submit your id copy here if you scroll down you have basically two options since i provided video selfie option i got two options here they ask you to use face recognition technology then you can quickly recover your account about one minute if you want to go for a manual review usually it will take up to two days but if you want to make it quick like me just tap the first one then select the confirm choice at the bottom now they have provided some instruction when you capture a video selfie so you have to follow these guidelines otherwise they will not approve your video selfie then you can just tap start selfie option to capture your video selfie and you can submit it after that they will review it now i will show you how to do that thing just using your default web browser here you don't need to use the same browser that i'm using right now you can use any browser so it is better if you can use a browser that you used to log into your facebook account before after that go to search bar then you can search any of these terms here i will use the first one report compromised facebook account just type and search after that you can select the very first search result then you will get this window now just tap my account is compromised button then before you recover your account you have to find your hackered account now to identify your account you can use your mobile number if you already added that one it doesn't matter if you have access or not if that mobile number option is not available you can go with your email address but instead of that you can use your facebook username if you didn't have any username just enter your full facebook name as you remember like this i will enter my full facebook name after entering your full facebook name just tap the continue button to find your account then facebook will suggest a full stop account which have the same name most of the time you can find your account at the top of the list but if you can't identify just tap i can't see my account then they ask you to add some additional information some enter your birth month or your current city name or your friend's name here since i have my account on this list so i will just select that one then you will get this recover this account instead of no longer have access to this option now they have been updated this window to recover your account you have to tap the recover button as well as they have mentioned you have to keep in mind hackers sometimes change your name and profile pictures so it is better you can identify your account just using your previous email address then you can exactly identify which is your account after confirming your account just tap the recover button otherwise you can just tap not you then you will get this guideline window here you can add your new email address then you can confirm yourself after that you can create a new password so finally you can able to 
get back to or log back into your hacker account. Then you can add your new email address. Like this, you can go through this recovery process. If you want to watch the second part of this video or if you got an error while recovering your account, I invite you to watch the full tutorial. You can find that video link in the description or you can click this end screen videos and come on over. That's it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Later.